so we can see two different render outputs on this screen. They are exactly the same scene, but this one is rendered without the depth of field feature of Blender, so all the objects are equal for the camera. And this one is rendered by enabling the depth of field, and we can see that this flower vase has got very sharp focus, while all other objects are totally blurred. So in this tutorial, we will discuss how to use this depth of field feature which is available in Blender. So we have created this scene for example, and here we can see a hallway with some objects. Let us go to the camera view mode. We have various different objects placed over here, and let's say we want to focus particularly on this flower vase. We have to do everything through this camera object, so select this camera, and then go to this camera tab. Here we can see a field called depth of field. Let us enable this and expand this as well. Now under this section, we have a target field, here we have to select that particular object, which we want to focus primarily. So let us pick up this eyedropper tool, and select our flower vase. But instead of selecting a focus object, you can also manually enter a distance value. In both the cases, Blender will take the distance of the focus point, and it will then blur all other objects present in the scene, except those objects which are nearby the focus. We can go with the default values in all these fields under Aperture, but we have to use a very small value in this first one. This value basically controls the permissible distance around the focus object, and anything beyond this distance will be blurred by Blender. So let us go with a value like 0.1. We can immediately see that the flower vase is now in focus. And all other objects have now lost their focus, they will be blurred in the output. Now, one interesting thing to notice is, we have three separate objects present here, and all of them got into the focus, that's the beauty of this feature. For the camera, these three objects are placed almost at the same distance. Although we selected only this plant as our focus point, all these three objects are within the permissible distance, so they are focused equally. Likewise, you can experiment with these other values, if you want. And if you are using EV, you'll get some more options to control the depth of field in the render properties, in this section. These values are mostly okay, and you can enable this high quality option for a better and softer focusing. These options are available only in EV Engine, they are not available in Cycles, because in Cycles we always get a perfect result, only the render time will be very high. The more time you allocate, the better will be the result. Let us render this scene using EV. So we can see that the flower vase is now perfectly in focus, along with the plant and this table. And all other objects, either far away, or too close to the camera, are all blurred, Blender has kept them out of the focus. Let us go back to the camera properties. This time, instead of using the flower vase, we will focus our camera on this signboard. So let us delete this, and we will use the eyedropper again, to select the signboard. You can see the change. We can further lower this f-stop value, let's say we make it 0.05. Now we have a sharper focus around this signboard and all the other objects are extremely blurred or defocused. But instead of this, if we use a higher value, say 0.5, we'll see that these other objects are still blurred, but the blur effect is now soft, it's not very harsh like before, and this is what you may need sometimes. So you can use a value as suitable, and the best thing is, you can even keyframe these values, so you can actually animate this f-stop parameter. Let's say the camera is moving through this hallway, and you animated this value, so the camera focus will change dynamically, as the camera moves along its path. You can further experiment in this line. So that covers our topic for today, and I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.